Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Dr. Kamran Sandhu. Today we will try to understand that how we can develop questionnaire for a research work. As per definition, questionnaire is a research instrument that consists of a set of questions that aims to collect information from a respondent. Research questionnaire can be close-ended or open-ended mixed. Open-ended long-form questions offer the respondent the ability to explain his thoughts in detailed manner. Questionnaire were developed by Statistical Society of London in 1838. Let's come to the main slides. So questionnaire is a set of standard questions for gathering related information from a group of individuals. As I mentioned, the main purpose and aim of questionnaire is to get information for a certain topic. Questionnaire is a mechanism for obtaining information and opinion. So very first objective is extraction of data from respondents with respect to the requirement of a thesis or research paper. Number two purpose of questionnaire is that it is inexpensive. So very very uh, low cost is required uh, for collection of data from the respondents. It is a speedy process that we can distribute questionnaire among the sample population and we can have feedback, immediate feedback regarding a problem statement. Next point is accuracy. As we will get chance to meet the respondent directly or through emailed survey we can say that data it is standardized data so every respondent will fill the same questionnaire with same technique by following a standard mechanism so data will be standardized it saves time and money so if questionnaire has not been developed as per the requirement of the topic or we are getting incomplete response so it will lead towards inefficient data analysis number two is data inaccurate if data is inaccurate and uh, we can add the factor of biasing so if biased responses have been collected result will not give you true information you are looking for. It will add cost in the system. So once you have collected the data, data is incorrect. So it means you will redo the same activity. So you need more money and more time to conduct that survey. Elements of questionnaire is this slide. This slide is showing different elements of a questionnaire. So very first one is the title. So title should be clear and precise. It means respondent is not facing any difficulty to understand the objective of the questionnaire. Number two, must focus on the domain. You have to develop questions as per your requirement that all the sub-questions are actually leading towards the main question. There should be orientation that how to fill, what is the purpose, what results are forecasted. It should be written in a manner that attention of respondent is must. So if you will write title, the title should be explained by keeping in view all these four points. Number two is general introduction. 
It includes description and purpose. Why you are doing this study? You have to describe. What are your main objectives or purposes? Confidentiality and clarity should be mentioned to gain the confidence of the respondent. You must request for honest and true response to your respondent. Third point is instructions. How to fill the questionnaire. So the method of filling the questionnaire like you have used open-ended questionnaire or you are uh, or you are used close-ended so whatever is the type you have to explain that how to fill the questionnaire then comes main part you can add additional information like contact information and you have to promise to share the findings of the research after completion of the research work finally there is thank you ending of questionnaire characteristics of good questionnaire a good questionnaire shows significance of topic and significance has been stated carefully it is meant for collection of unique and pure data and it is collecting essential data not that data which is not required for your analysis it should be attractive and it must move from simple to complex. Direction should be given in a clear and complete manner. Double-barreled questions are avoided, that questions having more than one meanings. Here comes types of questionnaire. So there are unstructured questions, there are structured questions, and there are semi-structured questions. So if we will talk about unstructured questions, there are open-ended, then completely unstructured, thematic, word association, sentence, story, and picture maybe. In structured questionnaire, we can find close-ended question, leading towards dichotomous, then matrix, then contingency. The cartoonist goes to multiple choice and then scale questions. Semi-structured is actually mixed, mixed both of structured and unstructured. Though this is as per requirement of the research. In next slide, we will see some examples like open-ended. Which part of movie you like most? You can give three options: A, B, C, and Y. Respondent will write its point of view or experience as per the question. Next one is thematic appreciation test. Explain about government policy interventions for USA for COVID-19. How USA can empower women. How textile and clothing value chain can be enhanced. So it is thematic type of question and respondent will start writing, writing and will in-depth view of experience. Word association that you uh, words are presented and respondent mentions the first word that comes to his mind like exam mean preparation, tension, mother means love, affection, etc. Then comes sentence, story or picture completion. The respondent complete an incomplete sentence, story or write an empty conversation balloon in a picture. Types of structured questionnaire, close-ended questions, dichotomous questions, yes or no, two category. These kind of questions has two possible responses like yes, no, true, false, agree, disagree, like that. Then another type of close-ended multiple choice is which of the warm-up duration you follow before athletic competition, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 25, more than 25 minutes, like that. Close-ended like liquid questions. Liquid scale shows strongly agree, agreed, neither agree and disagree, disagree, strongly disagree. It can be 7 scaled, 10 scaled, as you like. Thank you very much. I hope you will understand 
and get the concept of how to develop questionnaire. If you have any question, you can email me 